mule here she's got some insecurity issues um, this is my fourth ride on her and I've had a pretty good session with her and I want to stop until I'm gonna ask her to stop but if she starts moving again ooh. so she started moving I'm just gonna flex her down to a stop so hold this until there she gives her head a little bit she walks out, I'm gonna flex her again. As soon as she quits moving. Waiting for that head there. So we're just gonna keep doing this until she decides, oh yeah, standing still isn't so bad. She's not the best at giving, but right there, that was one of the best ones on that side. She's softer to the left. So as soon as she just stops moving after I release. So see how she walked out? So I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'll switch between the two sides. If she feels a little stiffer, like right now, she's a little stiffer on the right side. I'm just gonna do that side for a bit. So you see she actually is tightening up when I'm releasing. And so that tells me, okay, let's just keep doing this because the release of pressure should be a, a relaxing thing. And she's gonna learn that it is. Her demeanor right now is much different than it was at the beginning of the ride. She's a lot more submissive, a lot more humble, but still just insecure. Ooh. And so inside me, I'm doing my best to just stay calm and relaxed, to keep her calm and relaxed, or at least to show her that I'm not worried, so she doesn't need to be either. So would you call this stubborn? I don't think so. I think this is insecurities expressing itself. I think they're a lot more careful about going into situations quite often. And maybe sometimes they're a little more dull than horses. I'll tell you what, for how stiff she's been, like she's been a very tight animal to ride. Just, she's just been very worried. But right now, she is really starting to soften that neck up. And that's fantastic. So we're getting really close to where I would quit. If we get one more stop like she did earlier, I'll probably hop off. Like that, nice. So to hop off a scooty animal like this, if, if I were to just lean forward and swing down, she might scoot while I'm halfway out. I like to kind of keep their head a little bit flexed, rocking this seat a bit, just creating movement, and then just step off to the side. I might flex her right here, but don't necessarily be careful. Like right there, I wasn't like buttons tight, like I wasn't scared. And it's important to stay relaxed. But taking that little bit of extra time at the end of the ride is going to do a lot to help them get somewhere in life. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, share the video, and then go to barjailhorsetraining.com and check out our membership area. We have lots of horse training content to help you and your horse.